Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry if that light's really bright in there. I try to cover it up. It's a really bright day here in Utah, even though it's cold. Um, and today I'm bringing you the dry shampoo that won't absorb. So sorry if my hair looks white, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, so the first video that I'm bringing to you guys today is actually a really sweet random act of kindness um, from Rachel from Candles and Sweet Things on IG. She has such a presence presence on Instagram. I'm sure if you're in the wax world, you know her. Um, she's from New Jersey. She has such a cool accent and she just says it like it is and I love it. Um, she's always showing us um, Bath and Body Works candles and what she thinks of them on their first, second, third burns. She's very honest. Um, she's a huge fan of Sassy Girl Aroma. Uh, she recently did some L3 orders that she really liked. So, uh, go follow her. Once again, her name's Rachel at Candles and Sweet Things. And I, I, be I believe, and she had just changed that about a month ago. So, um, anyway, she sent me one, two, three, four, five different things. First, she sent me a really cute note. Um, but I won't, I won't share that on here, but I will show you the things that she sent me. Um, and this is the first thing she, she had told me she was going to send me this. This is from, was from her L3 order. And it was just one that her nose didn't end up liking. Her and I do have very different noses and very different likes, which is totally fine. That's how the wax world is. Um, so anyway, she asked me if, uh, I would like this one. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I would like that one. So it's one of L3's Bitty Loaves. Um, and it's in Sweet Lavender Peppermint Mallow Nilla Wafer. And... I don't usually like sweet lavender, but I will say that L3's sweet lavender to me isn't as sweet or as, um, gosh, what's the word? Like not lavender. The, a lot of other vendors, their sweet lavender doesn't even smell like lavender to me. Hers still smells like lavender and it doesn't have that. I can't even explain it. If you have smelled sweet lavender from some other vendors and you're not a sweet lavender lover, you might know what I mean. It's uh, kind of nauseating. Hers still smells like lavender. So this is sweet lavender and peppermint, which I definitely get the peppermint. It's very nice. Malo Nilla wafer. That's what I'm getting. This is a perfect bedtime scent. It's definitely, so I get peppermint the strongest, then the lavender, then the Nilla wafer. And I definitely get that. But it's not super bakery. This is still like a bedtime lavender peppermint scent. And it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Rachel. You were right that I would like this because um, I love me some lavender blends. Um, then the next one, she asked when I uh, was just messaging her, actually, she asked me if I liked this one. And it's funny because I have been wanting to get this one from Sassy Girl Aroma. And I've either just not hit the pre-orders that it was in or like I get my pre-order and then look at others um, hauls and they got it. And I'm like, how did I not see that? Because I've been wanting that one. Anyway, it's one of her um, lavender blend, lavender laundry blends. And it's rinse and repeat. And this is blackberry gain and apple mango tango. And it's in one of her cute little round clamshells. So let's see. I like apple mango tango in the right blends. Ooh. Okay. So Apple Mango Tango is a very strong oil, but so is Gain. But so is um, Sassy Girl Aroma's Blackberry. I get all of it. Like equally. That is so good. I can't even say which one I get the most. I literally get a third Blackberry, a third Gain, and a third Apple Mango Tango. That is what... So Apple Mango Tango by itself is not my favorite, but I think it's the blackberry added to it that makes it what I'd want it to be. Really good. Thank you so much. And we all know that's going to be a strong thrower because Sassy's laundry blends are so strong. Then this next one that I was really excited about. So I've never had any Bodies Harmony wax that I know of unless someone sent it to me and I've just melted it and not noticed that it was Bodies Harmony. Um, but I'm excited to try it. I always see, um, is this the brand that... On Instagram, I think her name's Inky Mac. Sorry if that's wrong. That she's always melting. I think so. I'm so sorry if, I'm, if that's wrong. Anyways, so this one, so I love eggnog scents. And this is spiced eggnog. And it says, a blend of light citrus and rum combined with spiced notes of clove, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg on the dry down of sweet vanilla sugar. Sorry, it's like really tiny writing. 
Um, and holy moly, is it spiced, spiced eggnog. Look at this cute little pie. It's like a little mini pie. So this, besides Rose Girl's newer blend by Josh Bales, um, the Christmas Eve and Cookie Land, that's my favorite eggnog blend. This has to be next because this, when it says spiced eggnog, it's actually spicy. And I like that. I really get that clove and ginger and nutmeg. I want that in eggnog blends. But I really get that thick, creamy eggnog too. This is so good. I'm so happy to have that. I'm, I'm happy to see how Bodies Harmony melts and throws too. Because I like I said, I don't have hardly any experience with it. And uh, this may be one that I go to that company just to get this scent from. Because it's great. Then she sent me one more like little mini pie from Bodies Harmony called Sparkling Sangria. And this says sparkling citrus, red currant, blended with a fruity cocktail, vanilla, and woods. Mm, very sangria-ish. Look how pretty that is. Very, I love currant. I definitely get citruses, but I get the red currant the most. Gosh, this just reminds me so much of sangria that I've had. This really smells like sangria. Mm. Just deep and rich and fruity and bubbly and oh, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I might go to Bodies Harmony and see what they're about because that's, those are both beautiful blends, like very like robust and full, like full faceted. Okay. And the last thing she sent me, this is the Unicorn Spa brand. And this is called A Nose Full of Hypocrisy. And I'm not sure what the notes are on here, but there is like a little picture of eggs, flour, milk, and cookies and jam. So I'm wondering if those are like supposed to stand for what's in here, like a bakery jam scent, because that is what it smells like to me. And it's in kind of like these little um, squares. It smells like a strawberry or raspberry jam but like a, a fruity jam bakery scent or like a fruity pie. It smells good either way. Um, I just don't know what the notes are supposed to be, but it smells like a jammy bakery scent. Anyway, that is it. I know this is kind of a short video, but I really wanted to share her kindness. Um, you know, with what she sent me, she was really thoughtful. She's just, she's always like, Oh, I think you would like this scent. I think you would like this. Or, um, you know, when I see ones, I'm like, oh, I know Rachel would like this one. She's a bakery lover. Um, and I just love watching her videos and how much she's, you know, how ecstatic she is when the bakery notes and blends hit just right. Because that's how we get. Like, you smell something and your brain is like, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, and I definitely have sense like that as well. So thank you so much, Rachel. I hope that you have a great new year. I hope all of you that are watching this do. Um, I'm so thankful for your gift. Uh, we'll see you later. Thank you so much.